hello friends welcome back to the new tutorial of the firebase today we are going to learn about how do i create a firebase server key so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video so let's get started so let's go to the firebase project add any of the project you have reached the project limit account you can add the firebase to an existing project or request it to increase the limit okay so my firebase account is basically so i will use my another firebase account okay so let's check this one go to the project settings okay and here we go with the cloud messaging so here you can see that we don't have the server key right and here you can see that the cloud messaging API legacy is disabled. Okay, so you have to go with this one. What it says. The ID is available. This update the server endpoint HTTP FCM. Nothing they are saying. So what we have to go. We have to go with the Google Cloud, Google Cloud Developer Console. Okay, so you have to go there. You have to log in with that account which I have logged in with this. Where we have that one. Okay, go to that one. Select the project which project we are in it's firebase notifications open services enable cloud messaging api ok go there So you have to enable this one already there in the firebase notifications all so we have a node chase right so select the project enable apis cloud messaging api go there click on it api is enabled and then type which API they were saying cloud messaging APIs cloud messaging API if you're existing user you must into latest purpose cloud messaging go with cloud messaging also And this we don't require. <coughs> Naple API is cloud messaging because it's cloud messaging, messaging, messaging one. Cloud messaging. This is not enabled, so enable this one. Once it enabled, let's go to the Firebase console. It's enabled, right? Let's go to our Node.js projects. Currently, it's disabled, right? Let's reload this. now you can see the server key is available now okay so this is the reason this is the flow that you have to do then the server key is available for you 
okay to send the notifications in the web push okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day